Bailey's almost ready for her bath. I've got her in the tub. I just need to secure the collar and with the tether on it around her neck and put some cotton balls in her ears. Cotton balls are going to help um, keep water out of her ears because we certainly don't want that happening. That lead, can lead to an ear infection if water is left in there. So I flip up her ear and then I'm just going to gently tuck this in. Her ear flaps are going to help keep a lot of the water out, but better safe than sorry. She goes to the vet enough times a year as it is. Now the main thing to remember with washing your dog, excuse me while I walk in front of the camera, is with a big dog like this, I'm going to do one small section at a time, so I'll probably wash um, like a four inch section, wet the dog from top down, wash the dog from top down, and rinse the dog from top down. The dirt, you want the dirt to go from the top where gravity is naturally going to take it down. And so you want to wash those spots last. So here we go, girl. Bailey's a golden doodle. She's part poodle, so she's got some really thick, curly fur, especially right here around her neck. I'm keeping my hose head aimed down also because as you can see, the only thing beside Bailey, except for this short wall at the top, is the wall of my laundry room and I don't want water going everywhere. So aim down. I'm wetting, wetting. Okay. And I've got my convenient shampoo right beside me. Um, that's it, just in a real convenient spot for me, and it's a shampoo with a pump top. And that makes the job about 80% easier if you've got a pump top on your shampoo so that you don't have to pick the bottle up. You don't have to use two hands. I'm working up a lather. Bailey's got an up. real thick hair right here, so I'm making sure that I'm massaging down to her skin. Most dog shampoos need some water added, even after you've wet the dog. I'm just going to add some water on top, kind of help it on down her leg, and then I'm going to wash the next part of her leg. 